You said, I really think the feelings of <laughs> possessiveness that come up in relationships is an interesting topic. Yes. For example, I have sex with men for a living and my boyfriend knows that and is okay with that. Yes. He even drops me off at their houses. Yes. But when he has sex with other girls, I get jealous and start arguments. Yes. I only want <laughs> him to fuck me. Yes. I want to know that I have all the attention at all times. Yeah. I don't care if it's wrong or hypocritical. It's how I feel. Yeah. Maybe you should quit then. I don't know. Yeah. But, no. But it's okay. <laughs> well, just a couple clarifying things here. So your boyfriend, he, he does OF2, correct? Uh, yeah. And he shoots scenes with women, correct? Yeah. He started OnlyFans because I do OnlyFans. Revenge. I don't think that's revenge. It sounds exactly. Sounds like a it really exactly healthy relationship. Like a tit for tat type yeah, of situation. I mean, this just, this it's just, just sounds super like super healthy. Yeah, frustrating yeah, arguments. Is, I mean, I once think... you start going down a path of promiscuity, it's like this relationship is doomed to fail. But see, yeah. I think where the dissonance in our perspectives is is that me and my partner know. Well, like okay. Me and my partner know that sex work is just work. Sure, it's you can say that all you want, but you just, obviously you, you, you said, don't you know it's work because you're starting arguments over him doing his work, which should be fine. Because because you want I'm all the attention. You're what? Because I'm, you're, I'm human, and I'm going to have <laughs> exactly. So we're saying. <laughs> Never mind. Cook, cook, go, 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 no, go, go, go. You're, you you're, you're going. Okay, so human. Let's go. Biologically, monogamy is natural, right? When you go against that. your nature, what does that it's cause ideal. a problem? Then why do you, then why that do you causes get problems. Jealous? And what does problem? Pro, what do problems cause? Insecure. An unhealthy relationship, and then an unhealthy relationship is what? Barely a relationship. But what do you mean you don't agree with biological fact? What? I mean, I don't, I don't agree do that mean? monogamy is like the biological end all be all of the most. It's not end all be all. Monogamy is natural. Other stuff. Um, it's how, do you, how do you? How do you, you think say poly Absolutely. Yeah. Because there it's are like proof. tribes where like polyamory right. is how they survive. That's that's because polygamy, polyamory. Yeah. Polygamy, yeah, that is also natural, but humans have shown to naturally be predisposed to pair bond and to be monogamous. So yeah, that's my I, I know where you were going. You were you were saying that like um what is it? No no no, like in like I just think the way our society is formed and the way that like most of us has grown up, yes, it seems like it would be the social norm, but I think in the history of the universe, I don't think monogamy was like... History of the universe. We're not talking she about social norm, history, we're talking about talking biology, about, we're like, talking like, about Jupiter? history. No, I think she's talking about Fading in terms of... Jupiter? No, I think she's talking yeah, about like... like <laughs> caveman times right like you're talking about like the amount of sight like you're talking about like repopulation correct no there's still like even in like so you you made the point that some tribes in the world practice polygamy yeah right sure yeah. okay should we really model our society after this but look <laughs> no, no those people tribe? in those communities people still would tend to pair bond with one person yeah, yeah i mean just because people do it doesn't mean it's ideal and most and, I mean, well, we're not saying people do it. We're saying it's also natural. Yeah, well, it's unnatural. I would say it's not. I would say, yeah, I would say poly polygamy is unnatural for humans. It's What's not. natural say, for humans is no, no, no. to create more children. Yes. Yeah, and most most of those like tribes that you're referring to have a what's the term for where it's closed on the woman's side but open on the man's side? Double standard. I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like most, most of those tribes, like there is a man that has multiple like wives or, yeah, or women. That's that usually they, because. Oh, but like a when harem? it's when it's. Are you talking about the harem? No, like a no. one-sided open relationship. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. When, when but, that, but that's the purpose. The, but the, it's legitimately for the purpose of repopulation. Right. Yeah. So. Which is that is natural. My point is okay. So yeah, it's natural for a man to desire sex with a lot mm -hmm. of partners. But there is, my, my argument, the natural tendency is for society to fall into monogamy yeah, and to I'm, avoid I'm agreeing polygamy. With, well, I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying even in the communities where polygamy was practiced, people tended to pair bond with one specific person. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so g kind of going off of this idea of pair bonds. So in those societies where polygamy was either promoted or mainly practiced, I would say that those societies quickly fell out of the public eye because of not just that practice, but a plethora of other things that came with that. I mean, you just kind of see that there are 
most civilizations that practice those things, that's usually an indication that the civilization is going to fail. It, it shows a debased mind. It shows a civilization that is not connected with reality. Yeah, and it's going against the natural order of things. I don't. Well, you're ta- you're talking about natural order in sense of like civilizations. I'm talking about biology. Ninety nine dollars. Barfi, do you believe that hookup culture is a good thing or a bad Barfie. thing for society Barfie. as a whole? Is that like is a, a good thing? I have no idea. Barbie? Barbie? I don't yeah. know. That was mean, and I'm not going to answer it. I guess. I well, I guess. <laughs> just ignore the Barfi yeah, part. So, do you say. think hookup culture is a good thing or a bad thing? For society as a whole. Yeah. Hookup culture? I think it's bad. Okay. Just remember. Oh, Um, I think hookup culture is bad. Yeah. So this kind of goes into the argument I'm trying to make. So, yes, I'm talking in terms of civilization. Uh, Like, so... I, I know, but we're, we're just saying biology, like psychologically. No, yeah, what so humans are let's, in, not, well, let's yeah. not have a debate about tribes. I don't think that was her central point anyways. We were, we were initially talking about uh, this dynamic with you and your boyfriend, right? Well, yeah, yeah, but she was talking about being human. That's why I brought it up. Okay, but I think we've... I, we don't yeah. need to linger on The point tribal. that I'm sure. trying to make is even though I am secure in the fact that I love my boyfriend and he loves me and that my job is just work and that his job is just work... It is still inevitable for me, even though I'm like very secure, to feel jealousy because sex is such an intimate thing. And is that okay? Is it though? Is it? Because I know I think it is. Bro, I think I saw your Twitter, son. Could be I saw thing. your Twitter. You're that should don't look over intimate to me. People. That, it, I, what? I, I, well, I completely <laughs> agree. Sex is the most intimate thing yes. that yeah. we can offer another yes. human yes. in our lives. But you clearly don't value it that way. <laughs> well, and also, didn't you say that if your partner saw you doing your work, that they're insecure? Yeah. No, I think if my partner saw me doing... And I'm saying I, I am insecure. I, I have moments of insecurity. I'm not saying that I'm not insecure. Like, I'm trying to relay the fact that, like, him and I both have the same insecurities for each other when we do sex work. And I get jealous because... Who's more jealous, you or him? I think it's me. But in my ideal world, neither of us would have to fuck other people in order you to don't, make money. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. Yeah, you don't but have I to. do because you it's don't. what I like and society provides a you job. Like that's not it, a good, you that's wish not a good you argument. weren't. That's yeah. not it's an not an ideal, but you like it. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you like it, but you wish that you didn't have to do it. Well, no, she, she, she said that even if she had like a she completely just different... Said, no, 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 yeah, I know, but I wish that... Okay, in an ideal world, I wish our society was placed in a way where I could fuck a bunch of men your boyfriend couldn't was ha- not offering you, you want to live in a society like that sorry sorry I, go ahead go ahead finish your thing finish your thing <laughs> my brain sorry. hurts oh my god <laughs> i would rather live in a society where it wasn't an option at all hold on let's not yeah, where let's like let's, i had the so option to do sex work but where okay not a society i would change my life where i was put in a position where i because I'm, I'm pretty young so where i had the chance to go to college and like get a really good degree, had the time and the money to like personally invest in my studies and like my knowledge of the world, but I don't. And that's not necessarily like the worst thing in the world, but as a result of that, I've chosen to do sex work and I have put myself in this situation where I have to navigate relationships. Kind of cope, don't you think? Well now- Cope? Well, you started out. You started out as a stripper. You made some guy paid you what fifteen thousand dollars? Was that that was you, right? Yeah. That's enough to go to fucking community college. I Strip actually. Strip on the side. Well, I didn't like it. You didn't like stripping or. I didn't like college, community college. You just said you just said you wish you could have lived in a world. Where I would want to go to like Yale. Yale. So with the Yale, money. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> You're giving all Bro, of these that, that moral ship ideals. Bro, that sailed, son. It's. Yeah. You're giving all of these moral like like you say like. To provide value for society, like it, this shouldn't be in there, but you're causing, you're, you're you can, actively contributing to the moral decay of society. I do realize that. So, <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of evil people in but history. But I don't, I don't think that sex work necessarily is the ultimate moral decay of society. Wait, okay. But it largely <laughs> contributes to it. I think what contributes to it is the consumers, not the sex workers. Okay, we, we can continue. Uh, guys, we're, we're, we keep veering off Sorry. of the central point here. 
we can, if you want, you can bring it back to sex work is bad. Yes, okay, we get it. However, let's try to hone in on the relationship dynamic here that you have. When it comes to Yale, I'd be happy to write you a letter of recommendation. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> in any case, um, uh, so, okay, your boyfriend, so he drops you off at their houses. Sometimes, yeah, he does. So you're, you're about to go get, that, I don't know, like as a guy. I'm about to I'm go just, pay for our dinner. Oh, did he drive you here? I'm like, I'm trying to wrap my head around how I would feel, like, I'm driving my girl to, to the, the shoot. Yeah. And I'm like, do, wow. does he kiss you goodbye, like, yeah. as you're leaving? He does. All right, love do you, babe. Have a good day at work. Yeah. Like, do you yep. want to marry this guy? Potentially. Ooh. I just, like. I don't I think could, you do. Why not? You Why are does what I have to do of, for work? Well, all of your actions are working against that goal. But okay, what is, what is what I do for work working against my goal of marriage? Like, I don't understand why that is. Because you just said it builds insecurity for both of you. And it creates arguments in your it relationship. It creates tension, it creates yeah. insecurity. For sure it You're could. sharing stuff that is for sure. key to who you are trying to, like, so sex is intimate to a relationship, and yeah. if you're sharing that with other people, then it creates intimacies with these other people, and all of a sudden, you can't make that emotional connection with your significant other. Who's saying that I can't make that emotional connection? Biologically, it does take away from the, your ability to be able to have that emotional connection through sex. Why? She only wants him to fuck me. Yeah, I, I would prefer that he only <laughs> fucks me and like gives me all of the attention. But I understand that that's not like necessarily how my lifestyle works. But that's, that, as a man, that's what he's going to want. If he, even if he says that right now he doesn't really care, that's what he wants. That's what you want. Wait. No, no, no. That's what men in general want. You even said want. that your, your, your boyfriend does care. Of course. Yeah, I mean. And I care. So men, in, men do not want their women sleeping around with a bunch of other dudes. That's just fact. It doesn't matter what you feel about it. He will say what he needs to say. Because for some reason in his mind, like, <laughs> he just wants to make sure that you're not going to walk out. And he will say whatever he wants to say to make that not happen. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I mean, that's just, that's just fact. I think I, I, that that's not fact. I think that's your opinion. No, I mean, that just, that, that statistically, that's borne out. Men don't like that. I'm a person, not a statistic. Statistics are made up of people. I mean, we can go back and forth, and forth about this. I just don't think she it's constructive. And <laughs> she's a human. Um, the vibes are right, Brian. Vibes. Uh, okay, so you said you only want him to f you. Uh, you don't care if it's wrong. Mm -hmm. At least you acknowledge it's kind of hypocritical or whatever. Of course. Um, it's just kind of like, you know. You know what I mean? 